John Davis has lived one of the most enviable resumes in all of broadcasting, crafting parallel careers as executive producer for not one, but two long-running national PBS series. While pursuing a degree in mechanical and aerospace engineering from NC State University in the late 1960s, John gravitated toward broadcasting and landed a radio announcing job at WCHL Radio in Chapel Hill. After earning his MBA from the University of North Carolina, John landed on Wall Street, working for the brokerage firm of Kidder Peabody & Company as a transportation analyst, but soon left the Big Apple behind and returned to his broadcasting roots. And down from New York came this wonderful man, John Harwood Davis. He was working for Kidder Peabody, and I knew from experience, Kidder only hired the best and the brightest. In 1973, John joined the Maryland Center for Public Broadcasting as producer of the fledgling Wall Street Week with Louis Rukeyser. This local show grew into a national powerhouse and John would serve as its most senior producer for more than 32 years. It's just a real honor to recognize all you've done, John Davis, for public television and particular Maryland public television. John is one of the few producers with the skills and temperament to successfully produce a live weekly program on a national scale. For most producers, launching the most popular financial news program in the U.S. would be enough. But John had, in the back of his mind, the idea for a TV program about America's love affair with the automobile. And the rest, as they say, is history. John, you are an amazing talent and I feel privileged to have learned from you over the years and to call you my friend. From one man's persistence and the absurd idea of basing a TV series on cars, Motor Week has evolved into the destination for car information across all media platforms. And along the way, John Davis became one of the most respected automotive journalists in the world. It was your vision and determination that made 43 years of Motor Week possible. Thanks for letting me be part of the early days. In the 43 years since you started Motor Week, there have been eight different CEOs at General Motors, but you're still here, leading better than ever. But Motor Week is much more than fast cars and burning rubber. Under John's guidance, Motor Week has distinguished itself as an advocate for vehicle safety, driver awareness, and consumer education. Working closely with the U.S. Department of Energy over the past 20 plus years to promote alternative fuels and clean technology, Motor Week has been an active witness to the surge of electrification that is now revolutionizing the auto industry. John Davis, you are the real deal. You're an engineer at heart, automotive journalist, but you're also a great TV talent and producer. You've kept the show fresh, evolving after 43 seasons. You're unbelievable. Congratulations, John. I still remember working on the Motor Week pilot with you, and of course, all the wonderful trips we took. I certainly remember that you uh, instilled in me the value of hard work. I value your friendship more than anything else, and I think this is a well-deserved uh, award. As Lewis Rukeyser would say, who deserves it more? Despite his success, John has always maintained that the cars are the stars and never tires of answering that frequently posed question, what car should I drive? After all, with millions of miles behind the wheel in thousands of new vehicles, if John can't answer that, then nobody can. Well, I'm the last speaker and everything that could be said has already been said. So I'm just gonna say, John, we are all proud of you and congratulations from everyone at MPT. John's career at Maryland Public Television has netted a lifetime of memories for himself and Cheryl, his wife of 45 years, who he met at MPT. But it has truly been the legions of loyal viewers around the world who have benefited the most from John's efforts. And for that, John, we salute you tonight.